In this demonstration here, I have about 10 cotton balls. So with the open Ziploc bag, I'm gonna take them, stick them in, just like that, while leaving it open. Then I'll pop open the petroleum jelly. Got a nice dab of that going on. Just pop it into the bag. And while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hands off. The whole reason why I request or I recommend that you have a uh, paper towel with you. There we go. Then once that happens, uh, you can still leave the bag open. It makes things a lot easier. But now you're just going to simply knead and mash all this together. And you're just going to have to keep readjusting and readjusting to where if you feel like you need more petroleum jelly or more cotton balls or less cotton balls, whatever the case is, you go ahead and make those adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and knead these now and then I'll show you what they should look like when you're finished. Alright, so once you've finished kneading, they should look at least a tad bit yellow or off-white. Uh, don't be afraid to use the uh, Vaseline or petroleum jelly. Be, uh, be very generous in it. That way you want to make sure you coat all as much of the cotton ball that you can. And uh, you know, it's very inexpensive, it's cheap, so don't look at it as wasting materials per se. Just look at it and try to get the best fire tuner you can get. Now what you want to do is you want to leave this bag still open and just find a nice cool place for it to dry off at. And you're going to want to let that sit there for a couple of days until it's uh, nice and soaked in. So we're going to let a couple of days pass by and then we'll take a look and we'll do a demonstration test. It's night time so as you can tell the, uh, you hear the crickets out there chirping along. Probably about 60, I don't know, 5 degrees outside right now. And uh, a little damp outside. So what we're going to do here is we're going to test the cotton balls that we utilize. Hopefully y'all can see this here on the screens. The one to the left, this one right here, is just a plain standard ordinary cotton ball. The one to the right has been heavily doused, if you will, in Vaseline. Let's go ahead and take a check at how they burn and how long they last. We'll use this long neck lighter. Right. And clearly right away you can already see the difference that the one to the left is completely covered with the flames. While the one to the right, which again was the wood heavily doused in the Vaseline, is doing a nice slow burn on top. The one to the left is already on its way out while the one to the right is still, as you can tell, burning quite nicely actually. So it's clear here that we can see the clear difference between the two. And just recall that Vaseline only cost you so much less than any other type of fire starter you can come up with. Vaseline is very cheap given by the amount of ounces that it comes in compared to any other fire tender out there. Not to mention the multiple amounts of uses I listed in the Vaseline video. Okay, you can tell here from the left, y'all might not be able to see it too well, but the left dry cotton ball is pretty much on its way out while the one on the right is still burning quite well. That bad boy is still going. We're about two minutes in. For the start of this video, the one on the right is just still going and going. And you can't tell me that is quite the difference that Vaseline can make. Hey, one of the cool thing about this, we'll go ahead and stop it now. But the cool thing is, is that if you want to put it out. Well, if you blow hard enough, as you can tell, that's going to work. Alright, so we got the light on here, and now you can pretty much tell the difference. Clearly there is, you can see that. 
This was the wood that was covered in Vaseline. You can see right there, it, it still could have kept burning, but I put it out by blowing it out. And while I did that, I blew, I blew the other wood kind of off a little bit. But there's the other wood, completely charred over. So again, if we put these side by side, you can practically tell the difference. I mean, they're basically the same size cotton ball. I don't know if y'all can see that, but the one that was covered in Vaseline definitely lasted longer. And uh, you can tell it was just going to keep going. So, again, this is a very, very cheap method to do. Start prepping now. Get your uh, Ziploc bags, your Vaseline, your cotton balls. Put them together, and you got you a nice little fire tender that is going to start right away. Uh, provided you have the tools necessary, such as fire. Anything to get fire started will make these Vaseline coated cotton balls light up. So hopefully this video is informational to you. Uh, once again guys, thank you for everything you've done, for all the watching, for all the comments, for all the likes. I appreciate it. Uh, please give me a, a rate or comment with this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Later.